WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow. Dow closed down 305, NASDAQ down 77, S&P's off 30. They ran it right back to the opening tick, folks, uh, just about. Uh, that's when the S&P's uh, basically, when the PPI came out this morning, uh, bottom line, the S&P went down 60 points. Uh, it's six points away from that right now. You're at 39.36. It was 39.30. Gold. Gold contract up five dollars seventy cents, traded at eighteen dollars seven. You get silver up forty cents, twenty-three dollars sixty-four cents a out an ounce. Light sweet crude, seventy-one dollars thirty-eight cents a barrel. Now that broke its consolidation, folks. That's on the way down to sixty bucks. Notes and bonds, a ten year note, that traded down fourteen ticks at one fourteen flat. The thirty year came down one where are you, thirty year? Yeah, one point plus 12 ticks at 129.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 200 ticks, trading 104, 979. The euro is at 105. The yen is at 136. And the British pound is at 122 to 1 US dollar. We get open, we take a look at the uh, S&P folks, the SPY. We get an a, a potential ABC structure on the way down. You know, rejected lower price out here. You got to go after the B point on Monday. The B point has 77 million shares. You do 77 million shares, you're going to end up at the gap. We're at 393, you're going to end up at this 381. And the X100, same type of setup. Bingo, one second right there. We go take a look at, look at the three Qs. Excuse me, folks. What happened with the three Qs? Same type of setup. You're at 284.04. Um, the B point on this, actually, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the, so the B point is 278. But the day before it is two, oh, one second, 278, but the day before it's 280. And this is what the difference is. So it has to break 278, and I want to see 53 million shares, because the lower one has 45. So for true, to stay conservative, you take the larger volume, 53 million, I take we're going to get it pretty easy, and then you're going to be down there at that 268 level. Uh, now, the good news about that, folks, is this is that the way that the market is set up right now, okay, is that you're going to be coming into the CPI as well as the Fed. So if you're going down into that, that's a much better situation. That's the bottom line. We'll see how this shakes out. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Don't forget about Basil's webinar and the Tiger Dollars. The Tiger Dollars, this is it, the last weekend. So if you want to get a savings, check it out. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Come back and visit us Monday morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.